Before I even start this article, the question I have in mind, the only question I have in mind is where are the men of Michigan to protect this child? Now, I can understand you saying that black women are the most unprotected women in the world. But what's your excuse for not protecting the black children? Now you see the article. Police. Asian man shoots six-year-old boy allegedly claims self-defense. Now when I first look at this, we already know that this is bull crap. What type of self-defense would he claim against a six-year-old? He's taking notes from the white supremacists. He's taking notes from the criminals that commit crimes and then claim self-defense. It's not only okay to shoot black men, but now it's okay to shoot six-year-old children that's playing on their bikes. Now, I'm going to read this article because it's short, and then I'm going to put the article on the bottom, and you can check it out for yourself. A six-year-old black boy, and they had to put black in there, had to throw black. I wonder if this was a white kid, if they had to put a six-year-old white kid. But a six-year-old black boy from Michigan was shot by an Asian man. And now MTO News is hearing that the Asian man may be planning a claim of self-defense. According to police reports, the incident began when the first grader left his bike on his neighbor's lawn in Michigan. Six-year-old Colby Daniels and his friends were outside on their bikes on Candlelight Lane in when they stopped their bikes and left one of them in front of a neighbor's home. Now, this is the dude right here. There is no kind of justification for this man coming out of his house with a weapon and then snipering this child from a window. Now, I personally don't like when people in the neighborhood don't control their children. And when you get ready to pull into the driveway or even back out of the driveway, you have to watch out for somebody else's child because sometimes they're so small you can't see them. And they got their little scooters and their little toys and they're minding their business, they're having fun. That's things that we all used to do when we were little. But when I was growing up, my moms always made sure we stayed in the yard. Of course, we were able to ride down the sidewalk with our bikes from the corner back to the house in the daylight. Now, in this day and time, people really don't watch their children. They don't. Their children stand in front of your driveway. They stand in your yard. They leave their toys in your yard. They're children. This is something I would fault the parents for doing because most parents, especially in the black community, don't watch out for their kids. But the article reads, when Colby went back to get his bike, police said the Asian man came out with a sledgehammer in his right hand. That's very specific, in his right hand, well actually in his hand, and says something to the child. Colby, Colby allegedly made a comment back to his neighbor and that set him off. Now, I'm wondering what this six-year-old said to this grown man that's standing in the yard with a sledgehammer. What exactly did this six-year-old boy say to set this grown man off? Why didn't this grown man go talk to the parents? Now, again, 
I completely understand. Sometimes it's hard to talk to adults about what this adult's child is doing, especially in the so-called black community because you have so many unruly kids out there that learn from home how to curse out adults. So again, this is no justification for what this grown man has done. Now, what I also find quite interesting is all we see now plastered all over the place, even in the workplace, is about anti-Asian hate. But yet we're steady hearing about the hate against the so-called black Americans from Asians, especially when you go in and support an Asian business. You're treated like a criminal from the door. And for the life of me, I can't understand why the so-called black Americans still support Asian businesses. I don't understand. But this is what you choose, but we don't see the so-called black American protesting. We don't see Black Lives Matter for this six-year-old child that was gunned down. Fortunately, this child did not die. He was shot in the arm. Now, I'm guessing it was either a 22 or it might have even been a pellet gun. It didn't say what type of uh, firearm that he used, but he shot this child in the arm and the child was able to talk. So I'm wondering what type of firearm this was that this Asian man shot. And I'm almost wondering if this is even a real article because I didn't find this in mainstream media. MTO News is which carrying this and everybody else is now making blogs on this MTO News article. But I had not seen this in mainstream media. And then it says, here's the snippet from the local Detroit News report. Kobe's father told police the neighbor went back inside and allegedly shot a gun through the front window hitting Kobe in the arms. So wait a minute. You have the father of this child telling the police that the neighbor went back inside and allegedly shot a gun through the front window, hitting Kobe in the arms. You mean to tell me the father was there and did nothing about it? Why was this Asian man even allowed to be arrested and then released. So the father of this child talked to the police about his six-year-old son being shot in the arm with a gun. Just think on that for a moment. The father of this six-year-old boy that was allegedly shot in the arm is talking to police about this man. This man was able to escape the father. Now, I'm quite overprotective when it comes to my family. See, but yet, in this day and time, black children are, what's the term I want to use? In other words, they're not safe. They're not protected. It's one thing when we talk about black women are not protected, but the children are protected. What did the kids do that you don't protect your children? It says, the little boy, they quoted the little boy saying, and this goes to tell this tells me right here this this was this might have been just a pellet gun or a BB gun. The little boy says he tried hitting me with a sledgehammer, but that's not going to work because I'm too fast. Now, how does this little six-year-old boy know what a sledgehammer is? How does he know how to identify a sledgehammer? Did he hear this from the parents? Does his father or mom own a sledgehammer? How is he able to articulate this man hitting him 
or trying to hit him with a sledgehammer. See, this is what, why questions pop up in my mind. And he says, but that's not going to work because I'm too fast. Then he got a gun and boom, shot me right here. So this little boy is pretty brave, man, to get shot in the arm and says, oh, I'm not crying, but, you know, this man tried hitting me with a sledgehammer, uh, uh, but that's not going to work because I'm too fast. And then he got a gun and boom, shot me right here, pointing in his arm. It says, Colby told local police. And it ends by saying, and the story gets even crazier. According to local reports, Ryan Lee Noonan made comments at the scene that led many to suspect that the accused shooter plans on claiming self-defense against the first grader. Now, again, made comments at the scene that led many to suspect. Who are the many? The neighbors? The neighbors and the parent that's standing there allowing this grown man to get away with shooting the son in the arm? Why is it this man's house targeted by Black Lives Matter? Remember the case in, in uh, South Carolina where the dude was walking through the neighborhood and then you had an army sergeant come out and was pushing him around and then you had Black Lives Matter in front of this man's house calling him out? Why is it this happening for this Asian man that came at this child with a sledgehammer and then shot him in the arm? Where's the protection for this child? And then it says the Washington County Sheriff arrested the shooter following the incident, who is identified as Ryan Leigh Noonan. He was charged with assault and intent to murder, but was released on a $10,000 bond. That's all this little child was worth. His life was only worth $10,000. But where's the protest? Where's the anger? Why is it this circulating on mainstream media? Now, if this was police that came at this boy with a sledgehammer or shot him in the arm from a window, this would be plastered all over the news and the Black Lives Matter would be protested and tearing stuff up. But no one is fighting for this six-year-old child. Why? Where's the protection for this child? Against this child's alleged shooter. So feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the Cash App, support this channel, share this article. But this is insane. The children today are not protected in the black community. What if this was a white child? Of course, this child is biracial. But if, what if this child was a white child? Do you think the parents would be that calm? Should this man be out of job? Should this man have given the option to bail himself out. Feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.